Downs. We are ready to get this show on the road. So both runners setting their setting their clocks for nighttime. Nice little Togetek on the uh, on the opening screen there. A little bit of happiness to get the ROM started. So both runners are going to make their way over to the starters so we can see what we've got in store for us. There's a lot of free goals on this card, honestly. Uh, between guaranteed TMs, as long as like things like. TM 21 and 27, as long as they set their, uh, they went ahead and set their days to Sunday. Uh, HMO 5, Slowpoke Tail, Experience Share, Item Finder, Charcoal. There's a lot of guaranteed uh, TMs and items on this card. So we got a Pichu in the first slot. Magneton in slot two. And Pupitar in slot three, so... Magneton, not a bad option. It's it's a decently runnable Mon. Guy's gonna labor over this this decision a little bit longer. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna join you for when I can. But all right, um, Garth. <laughs> but uh, but I'm expecting a call for my sisters tonight. So if I get Fair. a call, I'll have to duck out. And but I can probably come back in afterwards. You know. Fair okay. enough. Thanks for joining me. Uh, quick right. shout-outs to Garfield the Lightning for joining me on commentary last second. Hey Welcome guys. aboard. So, what's, uh, I haven't had a chance to really look at anything that's going on at the moment. Just uh... Well, Curly just found a Snorlax. Okay. The, 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 the true main. Which is good. We do have six different normal types on the card. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, it does... Not only does it give you a strong main if you do opt for it and it's runnable, but... You know, it does help with that goal. Have either of these guys have, they, have either of these guys checked the Magneton's move set yet? No, uh, not yet. Okay, I reckon you could maybe run Magneton, but I mean, you, you, I don't know. You just don't run an earthquake, so it's probably not a great idea. Yeah, it's definitely one of those things you want to. It you need a move set on it, and then just pray you don't run into a ground type move. Yeah, you'd need a phenomenal move set to even consider it, really. I'm thinking something something like a bolt beam magneton. That Not a bad great. way to start your arm, you know? That would be pretty great. But uh, leaving us in suspense here, not showing us the move set. I am curious about this. We should see it now, since Kroya has picked up Pokeballs. Alright, okay. I doubt we'll see it on this, though. Oh, no, we did. Ooh. Yeah, okay, maybe not. No, <laughs> maybe not, not this a, time. Not this that time. That Magneton is uh, sent for the scrap heap, if you ask me. Not even a rock type move to uh, to sweeten the deal. Just a load of nothing, really. Oh. That Magneton is a factory of sadness. My god. It's fine. At least, at least it's not you know somewhat good to 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 make them consider running it or anything. So it's just like bad all around. So no way will they run it, right? Right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right? We can, we can don't, hope so. Don't run, don't run this, guys. It's not good. Crow, you did go ahead and kill the Goldini fought with it. So he did pick up experience <laughs> oh on it. Oh my gosh! Please don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> I can't no. imagine though. Don't do it, Crow, yeah. You have so much to live for. He's... I mean, it has stab, I guess. Oh my stab gosh. Stab Metal Claw. Is he... He's leveling it up. This is this is what... This is concerning me. That's... Yeah, it's a little scary, actually. I would actually take this Smeargle with Stab Hyper Beam over this move set on this Magneton. It's... <laughs> <laughs> what? The, the Pokemon with 20 base attack. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that, dude. <laughs> but there's got to be something better. Like we saw, like we saw that King draw on on Route Twenty Nine. So yeah, that's that's going to be the thing to look at, possibly. Yeah, sure. But Brag, I did pick up the Smeargle that does give him a head start on the uh, six normal types. Mm -hmm. As Crow is going to go ahead and start ri the rival fight. He has absorbed for this or Metal Claw. 
Dynamic Punch Pupitar. Man. Oh, jeez, it's leveling up. I'd have it's rather he died there to <laughs> disincentivize him from going <laughs> for this outrage. Oh my gosh, just learning half decent moves. Razor Wind is terrible. Okay, yeah, yeah, low, yeah. okay, apparently he doesn't like Quick Attack at all, so. <laughs> God, don't, don't, so don't, learn, don't learn moves, for goodness sake. I think Crow, you might be. I think he might be. Committed. Bra Guy gonna teach over Razor Wind. Thank you, Bra Guy. <laughs> well. Uh, just. Run, I... run, run into that Kingdra. It'll save you a lot of pain and suffering. Yeah, this is. This could be bad. I'm praying that they. They don't run this, this Magneton. Crow, you just went ahead and named his rival A. Yeah, you don't. Know, it's like uh, so something you do in like basically all the standard Pokemon runs, but in this one with instant text, it doesn't matter what you name your rival because it all goes at the same speed no matter what. Braggy opted for the uh, the default answer for his yeah. rival. These guys are going try hard, not even naming their rivals Croya and Braggy. See, there's the Kingdra, okay. Let's see if let's see if this one's got a decent move set. He's, He's not even looking! It. He's not even looking! Oh, no! Dude. Kroya! Take a look at it, please! Oh no. Good dude, it's coming again. It's second chance, come on. Right. Come it's on. mail. It's telling you a, it's no, it's sending oh, no. you a message. Oh no. I guarantee you that Kingdra's gonna be a monster too. Just because he ran from it, yeah. Just because he ran from it. Here we go. <laughs> Rai guy finding a Raichu here. Okay, well, I mean, I guess that could work if it had a moveset. Him on me wouldn't have like, been bad back in Gen 1. It looks like he's at least open to checking these things out. Alright, third time's a charm. Come on! Anywhere, goodness me. No, wow. he's... He's, I think oh. he wants. I think he's going to run the Magneton, which I do mm. not think is a great idea. He's going to prove us wrong when the next level up on this thing is Thunderbolt. <laughs> I mean, even so, though, just massive Earthquake Queen is so scary. Yeah. <laughs> right, guy, you uh, looking at something else? Braggy has not found this Kingdra. Jeez, well, I think he's he... running to Sunflora over and over again. Did you? Uh, was it... I thought it was him who saw it the first time, but maybe, maybe not. He he might have seen it, but he hasn't seen it since he's gotten Pokeballs. Yeah. He's found the Sunflora and the Raichu ad nauseum, but. Crowley working on trying to get this Fero to stay in a ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> dude, dude, don't worry. I'm sure it'll survive a Metal Claw from a Magneton after it raising its defense with Skull Bash. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you, you're not going to run the Smeagol. Ice Beam Raichu. Uh... Mm. I mean... Solar Beam's decent coverage for those water types that Ice Beam can't hit, but then you don't really have much for fire types at all. Okay. He's teaching. He's, he's teaching, teaching Fist Wave. Wave. No, okay, he, he opted no, out. He of isn't it. teaching Psy Wave. See, so he was oh. right to. He doesn't learn anything because it's a Stone Evolution. There's the Snorlax. Okay, the Snorlax might have something here. Is this the answer? It's slow, but hits like a truck and is pretty bulky. Yeah, Paradox has it. That's that is about the move set that this uh this Magneton would be looking for. Jump Was kick, that... drill wreck, drill pack, heart, and giga drain. That is, I would say, good enough. Jump kick, drill pack is really strong, actually. That's yeah, really nice coverage. You'll get headbutt later. I would go with the Snorlax, even though That's it's Snorlax. really slow. That Snorlax is definitely definitely runnable. Herc would be proud here. Definitely the thing with the best move set so far. 
I, I still think we're gonna we're gonna see that Kingdra on a trainer, and it's just gonna body somebody horrendously. <laughs> Maybe. I'm actually gonna rank this down here. Uh, it's like Brian guys just looking around a little more. <laughs> we basically have to a hip flow from Crow, yeah, and drowsy from Bry Guy. <laughs> Need a little off sync synchronicity. Crow is going to go ahead and fight uh, Youngster Joey here. Yeah. And get rewarded. Oh, that's, that's cool. Yeah, it's polyrad right? information right there. Very nice. Checking out this victory bell here. It's another one of those stone evos, so it doesn't learn anything, but it starts with a good move set, it's all good. Rapid spin, extreme speed. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> anything else notable? Guess we'll find out. Quick shout out to uh, our boy Medic. Uh, he sucks. Dang, dude. Oh, it has Sandstorm, though. Nice rock type move. Good find for Bry Guy. Is he? He's gonna teach Psywave, actually. That's. Oh, is he going to the right you? No, he's going to the right you. He's going to the right you. Snorlax. Snorlax is good. He's got a good set. I know it's slow as heck, but. Please, please, we're begging you take the Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I haven't really. Yeah, I mean, Snorlax's like speed is just. You, you, it, it's tough running something that slow, but nothing else has really had a great move set so far. Let's take a look here. So that's a. So. They do have combined. They have information to finish call three. Um. Now, Bry Guy does not have the Polyrath info, but Croya doesn't have the Rock type move yet. So. Yeah, you can just get you can just get screwed out of the Rock type move goal. It's uh, just one of those things that can really mess you up. Bry Guy found a Mew with Flamethrower. All right, all right. This could be this could be mainable. And Ancient Power. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. This could be good. Now, the thing that Croya does have going for him here is that he's going to be able to ballpark right around where Bry Guy found the rock type move. Um, so that will help him out a little bit. Yeah, I mean, but he just has to chuck balls at things that he doesn't have. Well, I guess he's meaning that Mew then. Giga Drain, Flamethrower, Ancient Power. Just a bit, I mean, a bit of, low, a bit of PP issues, but mm. yeah, pretty, pretty decent. Croya is not going to save before the nine. See, well, uh, hopefully that's not okay. He... Okay, he's, he'll he'll be all right. Probably unless it's unless earthquake, earthquake machop. His earthquake, it'll kill it. Well, okay, he just crashed. Okay, never okay, mind. Never mind. <laughs> disregard, <laughs> disregard our previous concerns. Oh, that's the that's the item that Croya skipped there as a nugget. Oh. Um, Bryge picks that up. That can be really nice early game. That rich, creamy nugget. Mm. Shoutouts to TGE for getting the term rich, creamy nugget stuck in my head now. Oh, jeez. Commentary with that man is a blessing and a curse. <laughs> oh, he's locked into outrage oh. against the Steelix. Have Earthquake, come on. Show him the error of his ways. <laughs> oh, just, going, just going for Fury Swipes. Oh, man, come on. At least have flamethrower or something. I was gonna ask if he had something to deal with the Steelix, and the answer is resoundingly no. I was he like, has he has a, a grass type move. He has, 
He has a Magneton's vast resistance pool. That seems to be good enough. The Battle of Attrition does go to Magneton, at least. I'm, I'm floored, honestly, with this Magneton. I mean, it's one of those things that could end up working, but you, you'd you have to get pretty lucky for it just n to just never be walled or, or, you know, never take massive damage. I mean, it's got good special attack, it's got good defense, but it's not particularly fast, and it's, its HP is tiny. So Bry Guy's gonna opt for Sprout Tower first. Hydro Pump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, it's learned some, so it's learned some decent moves. It's an improvement. We're still looking at some PP issues with that, but it is definitely a marked improvement. Yeah, he's just uh, leveling up that Mew a bit. Might not go all the way to the top, just uh, enough to get a few levels on this thing. It's all going to depend on if he wants to spend the time fighting the extra trainers to get Flash now, or if he's going to opt out oh, yeah, a little Flash bit in. And the then... Okay, yep. well, never mind. He'll probably go to the top then. And the TM was extreme speed. Well, Kroya already deleted Quick Attack. Maybe? What's he have right now? Outrage, um, Hydro Pump. Uh, I'm not sure what he tore over. Um, presumably Razor Wind, because Razor Wind's garbage. Uh, so I guess Absorb and Metal Claw. Yeah. Yeah, he did teach over Razor Wind. Okay. Energy Root on the Hoot Hoot. I didn't. Uh, went too fast for us to see what was on the other Pokemon. He has a pretty. I mean, jump kick skull badge is okay on Fero, I guess. He's looking for that rock move, it looks like. Mm. Hasn't found it yet. Whereas Bry Guy has a rock move on two of his Pokemon. And he's seen at least two others. I, I think at least one. Something. Uh, the Eevee he fought just now had ancient power as well, so there's rock type <laughs> wow. moves everywhere. Well, nice Vulpix one. It's a nice easy Pokemon for a Vol 4 different. Oh, you're making his way down Route 32. I'm gonna try and catch this Dratini for some reason. Yeah, not, sure what, not sure what makes this more attractive than the Vulpix. He All may right, have well. just realized that. Hey, and Max Repel. Hey, a drink item. We can skip Rock Tunnel. <laughs> yeah, just like every you know, every race I've seen is skip rock tunnel. It's pretty incredible. No, it's crazy. Bra guy going up uh Sprout Tower getting Letty in information. Yep. Hey look, it's for alligator info. Breed strats? Breed strats? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Breed strats? Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 we got Raikou Ryko information. Uh, it's a shame that's not on the card, though, actually. I'm sitting there like, oh, look, information that it's not on the card. Yeah. <laughs> and it has protect and protect isn't on the card. Oh. He's running low on PP. That Raikou would have been great on so many other cards.
So Broad Guy has pick is going to be picking up his uh his flash HM here as Croya gets started into Union Cave. Mm hmm. Going to use that max repel. Yep. yep. Did I did I miss Bry Guy buying an escape rope, or did he find an escape rope in Sprout Tower? Uh, he, he bought, bought some. He, he yeah. bought some. Okay, I I didn't realize what his count was. There we go. Yeah, he sold a nugget and bought a few bought a few things. Fair enough. Hey, Waterstone, that'd be nice for evolving floor Pokemon if he catches some things that needs the Waterstone, or if he like catches a Poliwhirl or something, that'd be pretty pretty great. Hey, another freshwater. We can. He's not gonna check the downstairs TM. Hmm. He might not know it's there, actually. I mean, this, this Magneton's great, you know? It doesn't need any more TMs. It's learning all these great <laughs> moves. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, now that I've said all this, I'm fully expecting Magneton to just breeze through the game and end up with egg on my face. Oh, we we would both look highly stupid if this Magneton <laughs> turns into a monster. I want to go on record as saying I never doubted this Magneton for a second. Yeah, you can rewatch <laughs> the VOD and um, no, actually, don't rewatch the VOD. <laughs> no, we we don't need to be proven wrong. Listen, I'm I'm right until I'm wrong, and even then, I'm still right. It's fine. There you go. Makes complete sense. All right, Nerestra has confirmed. We'll, we'll edit it out. Cool. We'll get it in post production. <laughs> okay. Just edit in a sound clip of. <laughs> just, just it'll, it'll just be like we'll be like this bag. This one is absolutely fantastic. That's what it'll sound like. <laughs> just the the dust. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there is a compelling reason to check that TM right now, and it's called this Magneton. <laughs> Hydro Pump is going to pay dividends there for him against that Typhlosion. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Bra Guy exercising his power of the ancients. I got getting past Faulkner now. So, if the Magneton just started with this move set, would you have run it? Do you think? But the move set it has now. Yeah. I honestly, I probably would have checked a couple other Pokemon first. I would have, you know, checked the Kingdra. <laughs> yeah, but... like checking the not checking the Kingdra was a bit strange. <laughs> um, no, I probably would have checked the Kingdra. I think if I didn't find anything. Um, you know, if I didn't find anything else, like, oh, the dang. Magnetons... He was killed it's... by Thunderbolt. Oh, that's got, gosh. that's got to hurt. As that's, Magneton, like, that's embarrassing. I love that move. Where's, where's my sketch, dude? Yes, Meganium Info. Breed strats! Oh my gosh, it's, it's, we've seen the Typhlosion too. We've seen them all, Bree! Yeah. That's, that's, well, that's the, only, that's the only option, clearly. So he did not save before the second rocket, so he is, as we can tell, having to go back through the, uh, the Typhlosion again. <laughs> Beard stress! Oh, uh, I'll be here all week, folks. So... Oh, hard stone. He can power up his ancient power. This is gonna take the time to heal. I wonder, does he save before the fight? After dying to it once, he dies. Yeah, he okay. Takes a quick <laughs> save. Doesn't take long to do in the in uh with uh, instant text on and all that. Absolutely, it's worth it's worth a couple seconds, especially after you've you know already 
caught an L there once. Yeah. But yeah, this is the thing with Outrage, you get locked in and if you get wrecked then not much you can do about it. But he should be fine. Meganium can't really do much. Looks like Bry Guy skipping that TM as well. I mean I can see I, I can I I can see I can see that being more reasonable from him because his Mew has a pretty good moveset already. Yeah. Yeah, the Mew's moveset is, is decent enough. Um, he's got some PP issues, that's about it, but... Mm -hmm. This Mew started off rather nicely. Yeah. Uh, he's not gonna... He's not gonna opt to power up his uh, ancient power to... Even more oh, ancient man. levels. No. Now his ancient power will be a measly 60 compared to the mighty 66 it could have been. <laughs> hey, you know what's funny is I'm gonna laugh if he misses like the very next damage range with it. <laughs> yeah, just like <laughs> leaves a one. Be like, this wouldn't have happened with Hardstone. Oh, the Magneton, continuing its upward trend, tried to learn Confuse Ray. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, to be fair, it, the, the first couple moves were were pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, would have learned that would have learned that perhaps instead of Razor Wind or something. But yeah, when you have moves like Absorb in your arsenal, you don't want to get rid of that with things like Confuse Ray. No, but in all seriousness, Absorb is. Absorb, absorb isn't too bad, you know? Good against those rock ground types or what have you. Yeah, that extreme speed TM would have been fantastic on that uh, Snorlax. Oh yeah, jeez. Like, the the Mew is not... The, the Mew is a pretty good run. Uh, the moveset is pretty decent. Like, Flamethrower is a nice find. Um, but if... Like, if Kroya had found said Snorlax... I mean, honestly, I would have run the Snorlax. I don't think I've... I don't know that I would have switched to the Mew after seeing it right away. Like, finding the Snorlax first, I may not have switched. Well, I mean... I'd, I mean, running running things like Snorlax is just like... You, you're kind of just asking to get nasty status inflicted upon you, so... It is... It's that, That's like the worst part, I think, about running something slow. Just getting hit by... Like by by like paralysis and sleep and um, confusion things like that. Yeah, it's it's a tough decision. It's it's definitely one of those, you know, kind of it's one of those kind of moments where you just you're not you're never quite sure what the right play is going to be here. The Snorlax is really good. The Mew being faster is going to be better in in some ways. But that move set on that Snorlax, and knowing that it was getting, uh, now knowing that it would have gotten stab extreme speed from uh, from the TM from uh, Faulkner's gym, just little things to think about. Bright guys found a nice Jigglypuff in Slowpoke Well, and he catches this. Then it'll be his third normal type, and he can evolve it easily with the Moonstone for those evolutions. And also for another normal type. The only thing you've missed so far, I would say, is the uh, is the Magneton of Destiny. Yep. Oh, there's the Earthquake, Mon. There it is. Oh! Jolteon with Earthquake. He doesn't... Oh, man. It's like it's doing, like, about half... Hmm, okay. Can he two-shot that? Without Rage, or Hydro Pump, or something? He might be able to two-shot that. I guess we'll we'll see how it goes. I, I just got done calling it the Magneton of Destiny, and it's Ripperino. Feels bad, man. 
Well, the story is basically that this Magneton started out with a not so good move set. It had um, what did it start out with? Razor Wind, Quick Attack, Absorb, Absorb. and Metal Claw. It's now learned Outrage and Hydro Pump, so it's better. But this is the first thing we've seen with Earthquake. It's Jolty on here, and it looks like it's uh, well, definitely two shot from there. Okay, nice crit. Until it crits, that is. That's the worst thing he could have run into. Like, that or an Electro, just something that's 100% gonna outspeed you. Something like a Dug Trio as well, but, like, something that's 100% gonna outspeed you and carrying Earthquake. So it looks like he's fighting optionals now to try and get a level or two on that Jolteon. Shout out to, shout out, quick shout out to Bug Catcher Benny. The demolisher of many a good uh, glitchless run. Well, I mean, it's not going to help him outspeed the Jolteon, I wouldn't have thought. Um, no. So, I mean, he at full, he probably won't get two shots at level 18. But I don't know if this is really that helpful. Brag, I found a wild Quilava. Oh, nice, dude. That's pretty good. Well, I guess we can throw breed strats out the window for now. Our dreams have been dashed. Dang, dude. There go the bread strats. Ah, uh, now, Crow, you, you can't fight the yeah, other you can't, twin. you can't fight those twins, no. But level 18, maybe he'll give it another try. He's just got to be at I, full health for Jolteon, I think he'll be okay. I think... But I don't he know might have he, to, can... he, might have to, he might have to hit two Hydro Pumps, though. Or, like, yeah, one I... an Outrage or something. I'm concerned that the the earthquake might still do more than half. I didn't see. It did. How much I it did think the first I thought time. it. I thought it did like 24, which was just under half. Uh, but but like it, you know, it would have been. It would have been obviously. I don't know if that was a, a high roll or a low roll or whatever. So, yeah. yeah Bry guy yeah. has about caught up. So from here at level 18, he might be able to just live two Earthquakes. We'll see. Oh, never no. mind. I was completely off. Goodness me. That did, uh... That is that maybe, maybe it was 34 instead of 24. Okay. I was completely so wrong. His best option here is gonna be... Oh, he doesn't have anything else to switch it into. Yeah, he, he's gonna need to withdraw something from his PC. Jeez, you think this was Gen 1 with these crits that Jolteon's getting? Crits don't depend on your s s base speed anymore, but you uh, wouldn't have thought so just by looking at this. He needs to withdraw more of his Pokemon, though. He can't. I don't, he, I don't think there's any real way of him doing this. It's with, it's either with... it's either that or he has to crit a Hydra Pump. Yeah, that or PP stole all ten of Jolteon's earthquakes, but just yeah, I think he he, he just needs to get more of his of his Pokemon out of the PC. So, Bryguy has caught up story-wise, and the other thing to keep in mind is that Bryguy is also through Sprout Tower, so he yep. does have a bit of an, uh, a time advantage now. He just needs to withdraw some Pokemon. Come on, Korea. You can't, uh, he, he can't do this with just Magneton. This is never going to work for what he's doing right at the moment. The only way this works, the way he's doing it, is a hydro pump crit. There's yeah, no other crits, situation. And that is it. That is the only thing, yeah. Like even an outrage crit would probably KO, but that like I don't know if that was a that was a range what he what he what he did on because he he did half with outrage that time, but I don't know if that's like it looks like he's just dying so that he can level up so like. Okay, well, it went for hypnosis that time. Oh my gosh. This Jolteon's a monster. His faint attack over on the other side. <laughs> yeah. 
But uh, Bright Eyes passed the Jolteon now. Oh, See what the last is. Sand Slash. He has Giga Drain for that. Bugsy is a. Bugsy's a monster. It's <laughs> a good point. <laughs> it is actually on the card, too. Wow. Kroya might be able to jokingly mark the zero on hand for a few seconds. <sighs> nice, <laughs> nice crit, dude. That's Man. like the. Th Jeez, dude, this the fourth is a or fifth crit, crit machine. He's, e he's eaten like four or five crits from this Jolteon. <laughs> Octazuka, I'd, I'd teach that to me, I reckon. That's not a bad move. Uh, you do end up with some accuracy issues with it, but other than that, it's a solid water type move. Mm -hmm. It would give him something, uh, something extra to deal with the fire types and stuff. Yeah, I mean he has ancient power, yeah. but true. Yeah, never mind. He has I ancient suppose. power. I don't know. If... Yeah, I don't think he necessarily would need to. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, with Ancient Power, there's nothing really that the Octazuka would cover. Yeah, fair enough. Oh no, he's out of Giga Drain PP. Well, this is just uh, gonna have to wear it down with Flamethrower, I guess. Good to know the Pupitar's still packing that dynamic punch. Still way too much accuracy. Oh man, hypnosis is uh jeez. Bugsy Bugsy has figured out Croya's strategy at this point. Yes, it's like not... you, think, you think you're gonna level enough? Now I'm just gonna put you to sleep instead. Yeah, and looking at looking back at uh, Octazuka real quick, just pulling the stats on it, it is only five power stronger than uh, Ancient Power is anyway. So yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess it's always like a you know a decent panic teach if you run out of PP on Ancient Power or something, and you don't want to go back for sense for whatever reason. Fair Hidden point. Power <laughs> overabsorb. Well, we'll see what this. That's... We'll see how this turns out. Oh, man. He misses the Hydra Pump. This, this Jolteon is a monster. I, this could be, this could be avoided if he, if he would go back to the center and withdraw some of his Mons. Yeah, that's definitely the play here. Just withdraw some of your Mons, um... Like hit 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 the Jolteon with one Hydro Pump, switch out, sacrifice something, switch in something else, heal up, and then hit it with an Outrage or a Hydro Pump or something to finish it off. But he's not doing that, so he's just leveling up the Magneton. He's still being he's still you know being too hit by Earthquake, and the Jolteon is still faster than him. Oh my god! Nearly killing too. I guess he's thinking like, oh, with one wall level, I can kill with one Hydro Pump. But this was not the fastest way to do this. Yeah, if he if he wants to keep going at this, going at it like this, he could always fight rival now. Yeah, he could fight good. rival now. Um, somebody else pointed out he could go back to Hiker Anthony. But I think if you're gonna keep doing it this way, you've gotta you've gotta either fight fight rival and get some get some extra experience that way i if he can hit this hydro pump here this should kill at this point emphasis on should we'll see oh, not oh my gosh 
goodness me, this look at that. Zolteon. Oh, look at that sliver, goodness me. Ooh. This Jolteon is... I can't, I can't watch this. I, can't, I, I have to, like, cover my eyes. This Jolteon is a, a monster. Meanwhile, Bry Guy walking quickly away from it, almost to Goldenrod City now. Yep, just skipping as many items as he can. He doesn't... I mean, the only one that would, well, yeah, they're all, they're all, they're all, all the ones that are on the card can guarantee you'd get some other way. So yeah. it doesn't really, it doesn't really need to pick them up. Okay, well, he just missed hypnosis that time, and he was able to kill his hydro pump anyway. Oh so my gosh! He's finally fast that. He just has to, yep, hit hydro pump on yep. the sun slash. Right. He's finally past Bugsy. All right. Well, he got a bunch of levels. Maybe that'll help him out down the road. That is another good point that was brought up. He could have taught extreme speed. Oh yeah, that would work too. And killed this Jolteon about four battles ago. There's a number of things he could have done. But, uh, yeah. I guess maybe he just panicked a bit. And just kind of closed his mind off, perhaps. Easy to do that sometimes, just like, you know, close your mind down to some other possibilities that could work out. Yeah. So, if, especially if you're so used to just um, being able to blitz through these things. But with something like a Magneton with a big weakness like that, it doesn't always work out for you. See, I wish I'd, um, I wish I'd kept a running count of how many attempts that took. It's... It was at least a dozen. It was a lot. Like, that was... Yeah, I can't actually remember what level he started out with. I think he was... Oh my gosh, what was he, 17 maybe? <laughs> okay, we'll see if um... Brian Guy wants to do the contest. Looks like he does. Just see what's in there. I, I just honestly hope we don't see a Jolteon again for the rest of this run. I don't think I don't think Croya's mental state could take it if he found another Jolteon. Well, I mean, with things like that, you you're generally a lot better after like Ecruti because you can buy revives and stuff then. Bry guy found another normal type. Now, if only he can uh, get it in the ball. There it is. That's his fourth, I believe. Uh, yeah, that would be... That is four for Bry Guy. And if he gets his pitcher, that would be number five. And then he could just evolve his Jigglypuff, and that would be his... That would be, that would be six for him. If he decides to go that route. And I believe Crow is at three. He's got the Fearow, the Fearow, the Smeargle, and a Hoot Hoot as well. Yeah. That's what I've got written down for him too. Pidgeot with Sky Attack. Geez, that actually did quite a lot. I know it was a crit and all, but still. Whew. So Crow, you're gonna pick up this Weeping Bell. Most likely, uh, not a bad play. It does give him something easy to evolve. Mm-hmm. Pidgeot finally getting in the ball. Yeah, geez, that's a forever. Goodness me, these uh, bug catcher Pokemon, not too keen on getting in the ball. Oh, maybe he was just catching something to teach Cup because he didn't have anything with him. Oh, uh, that's... He can... But he can evolve this too, if he thinks of that. Oh, he's just, uh... <laughs> Seeing if he can find something cool on the headbutt trees. <laughs> the Wee Pimbel head head fight. Yep. Just gonna chuck a ball as Geo dude for some reason. <laughs> Not really gonna do him much good, though. Unless it has a rock type move. 
Jeez, he only has six Pokeballs left. He's caught three Pokemon. <laughs> we'd, hey. be good, we'd be a good candidate for stop the same Pokemon evolving four times. So if he didn't already have Bayleaf Quill out of a Croconaw, he did find one in the bug catching contest. Are you on for Graveler? Okay, yeah, I guess. I forgot that goal was Kenya's on. Kenya's a Metapod. <laughs> okay, then. That's also a pretty good candidate for stop Pokemon evolving four times, especially with that boosted XP. And it goes into Butterfree Beedrill in the top right corner as well, so... Oh, yeah. Pretty nice. Oh, I had a Rock-type move as well. Well, there you go. That's a nice free goal. That's, that'll be a nice free goal when Cray gets there, then. Shout-out to our boy Paradoxical Remedy. Now, I don't know if Bry Guy picked up that Moonstone. It would have saved him the trouble of buying one for the Jigglypuff later. Oh, there was one earlier? I. Yeah, uh, Crowley just found one in I uh, Ilex. Oh, Bry Guy skipped loads of items in Ilex. I yeah. don't think he picked it up. Bry Guy, not quite sure about the movement through, through uh, Spinner Hell there. Well, at least he didn't hit anybody. Fair That's another enough. easy Evo for Crow, yeah? Picks up a Pikachu. Well, that elixir would be great for Bry Guy and his PP issues. Snubble Girl showing us an Ampharos with Stab Spark. Oh. Dang. Gets the para too. 30% para, para rate on Spark, which is pretty high. Most things are, most of these things are only 10%. See what Whitney's got in store for us. Just don't, don't show us a Jolteon again. No, instead, like, show us a Duck Tree with us. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> that's brutal. Come on, man. I'm sorry, dude. No, no, show us an Aerodactyl with Earthquake. I've got to stop. I've got to stop. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> Apologize to the people. Well, what can I say? You know, I love seeing people get punished. God, I'm a disgusting human being. Okay, that does look like Whitney is going to be relatively free here. Yeah. I, I wanted to hold off until that glare missed. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted <it> to be... <gasps> nah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> So let's see if Croya checks the Kenya. Check the moveset on the Kenya and mark that bad boy. Ah. Oh, dang. He's, he's going to hit that. that. Move to the right. Hey, look, more breed strats. And something that's actually on the card that hasn't they haven't had info on yet. That Grimer. Uh, some useful piece of information. Oh, we got to see the Kingdra and it's dead. Yeah. Yep. No, <laughs> didn't, get see, <laughs> didn't get to see its incredible moveset. Just got to see instant death from that outrage. <laughs> I want whoever made the ROM to message me the moveset on that Kingdra. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> It's going to be the greatest unsolved mystery of our time. That or I'm going to boot the ROM up on my own later and find out. 
and just like spam its moveset on Twitter or something. It's like 17 tweets with its moveset. So, that's a Meowth. Not on the card this time. Oh, why is he... Oh, because it's a normal type. Yeah, but you can just evolve his Jigglypuff, so... Yeah, that's... Yeah. There's no real, no, no real need to catch this Meowth. He has five normal types, just needs to evolve his Jigglypuff with the Moonstone, and that'll give him his sixth. But, I don't know, if he doesn't... If he doesn't need the Evolve 4 goal, then I guess he doesn't have to worry about it. Alright, it's gonna go ahead and catch it. Yep. I was gonna say, Crow, you don't have to worry about avoiding that guy. Heading for the center. Yeah, it seems like Fry Guy has been counting, so he knows that that was the sixth one. Check the Kenya. Hey, the Geo has Dig, that could be handy. Check the Kenya! <laughs> he's checking what? all of these. He's oh gonna be the, it's gonna be the last thing he checks. Alright, he's now is. seen it. So we'll give it. it we'll give it a couple minutes before we mark it for him. He might, yeah. It, it looks like he might not realize that that, that sandstorm's a rock type move, but he's seen it, so yeah. I guess we'll mark it for him. Yeah, we'll go ahead and mark that for him. So Croya on the board now even though he doesn't 100% realize it. And I hope we don't freak him out there. There was a slight pause. He, he might have been confused. Yeah. Hopefully, he, he's, he, hopefully he's just mentally like, whatever, I'll go with it. Yeah, he probably <laughs> thinks that uh, maybe Sandstorm's a ground-type move, but it's definitely a rock-type move. So it counts for that goal. Uh, Paradox, you missed your bird. That was about it. I don't know how long you've been gone if you saw the, uh, the Jolteon on Bugsy, but that was... That was an ordeal. Sure was. Uh, also, once again, Medic sucks. Dang, throwing all this shade at Medic for no reason. He's not even here, dude. He's can't resist exactly. bad mouthing the guy. Exactly, he can't defend himself. This is the only opportunity I get. This community is disgusting. Listen, I can't beat him in a race. I have to get what I can <laughs> out of him. All right. I will. I will openly admit the man is better than I am at this game. I have to take what I can. the burn on the Gramble on the uh, Kimono Girl. Nice uh, nice way to dodge a little bit of that damage coming in from Sludge Bomb. Okay, you walked off during the Jolty on that. Okay. Oh, looks like Kroya, Kroya, it looks like he forgot to withdraw his Magneton after doing oh, all the no. opposing stuff, so he's gonna die to the Zamphoros. Unless he Bry somehow guy. beats it with, Geo, with his level 10 Geodude. Um, My guy did get um did get Poliwhirl information since he didn't see the Poliwrath on Youngster Joey earlier. It looks like this Ampharos doesn't have any way of hitting the Geodude. Looks like maybe Spark is his only attacking move. So this gives Jolt this gets Geodude a little bit towards level twenty five where it can evolve to Graveler. But he's going back to get his Magneton now. Uh, he went back down, I was about to... Oh, oh no! Because <laughs> this is the way you normally exit, so yeah, yeah I guess that's just, that's, just, that's just reflex going that way to exit. Let's go, Geodude! 
Here we go, it's got this stab dig. It can probably beat this Nidorino, to be fair. New main? <laughs> now we got no, the burn! No! no! He, oh, killed the, no. he killed the Nidorino! Yeah. Um, wow. That's just disgusting. Okay, the Kingdra Marowak, apparently... yeah. He's not gonna be able to beat the Marowak. The Kingdra apparently had Hyper Beam, Giga Drain, Slam, and Poison Powder. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, well, that's not right, great. You know. I'm... I'm... I'm honestly a little... a little saddened by that revelation. The Pichu starter had a Slowpoke Tail. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Uh, save Genya. Yeah. Come on, Genya. What are you using Sandstorm for? Got Dragon Breath, dude. That's gonna just. Do you miss... oh, he might have been able to win with Dragon Breath Para into just never able to attack, but I guess that was a bit unlikely. All right, as promised. Uh, after this, uh, after this race is over, I will tweet out Hyper Beam, Giga Drain, Slam, and Poison Powder seventeen times. What the heck? 17 times? I, I said I would tweet the moveset out 17 times after I found it. Call that once for every time I felt like he should have checked the Kingdra. If that includes the dozen times he died to the Jolteon. <laughs> Jeez. Well, if nobody <laughs> followed... If, nobody fo if, if anyone followed Fizzle6 on Twitter before, they won't after this. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm gonna see a huge drop off in my social <laughs> media followers after this. It's like this guy was just clearly hacked, you know? Or I don't know, maybe your followers will know, yep, that's Mizzle, alright, but he's just gone too far this time. This is the last straw. My apologies, I seem to have had a stroke mid tweet, and it happened like 16 times on top of that. Oh my gosh. Oof, Mega Kick Dodrio. Dude, what is it? Why is it that every time I see a Dodrio, the Dodrio has something that just makes me like, that could have been really good. Yeah, <laughs> Dodrio is just, it's just, it's just a god, you know? It's like, just in the, yeah, recently, is where you've seen Dodrio, it's just been like, yep, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, just being normal flying, I guess, lends itself to you being able to learn a bunch of really great moves, coupled with its really nice attack and speed. I mean, even though, like, the, the Dodrio I found in my race was a monster. And I let him down. Unfortunately, we don't have the sound for the, uh... Sound for the beast chest yet. We'll have to wait till Croya gets there to see what they are. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna say it's... Garf, what's your favorite Pokemon in Gen 1 and 2? Uh, Mareep. Mareep. Alright, yep. so I... So I think, uh, I think... The beasts are going to be uh, Mareep and uh, Delibird, and then the Suicune's going to go ahead and just be Shuckle for us, and everybody's happy. Yeah, well, surely one of them has to be Jolteon, right? Dude, I want okay. the Suicune. If, if the Suicune was Jolteon, that would be pretty funny, because then he'd have to. Then, uh, then uh, Crow would have to beat it, because it's on the card. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. That would be. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't know if I can deal with that. Dude, I'd love that. Or, or he'd be just like, nope, I'm going to beat Claire instead. And then her level 40 would also be a Jolteon. Oh, I mean, Rising Badge is on the card, I guess. <laughs> Wait, is it? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it yeah. is. It's right there. And it's, it's in a, a pretty decent uh, spot, too. <laughs> it's in a okay, fantastic then. spot. Like, Because they have they have a info on all three bingos that it gives. At least Kroya does. Uh, Kroya actually... Crowley is missing the Bayleaf, the Bayleaf Koalava Croconaut info. But that's about it. <clears throat> and he's got the he's got the Metapod. Yeah. And that was his uh fifth normal type. He just has one more to go, and he'll be able to mark that goal off. 
But if he does get six and doesn't realize, we're not going to mark it off for him. He'll uh, we'll wait until like he checks the decks or something to, to check to check to see if he's got those normal types. Yeah, and see the physical evidence of it on the screen, not just the commentators in their fancy notebooks. Ooh, Thunder Paralyzed from a Kingler and Morty's Gem. And it's still oh this strong. Oh, it's... that killed him too. King Kingler is really strong though, to be fair. Yeah, it's got a really large attack stat. But that oh, the exploding crap. Is he out is he out of Giga Drains? Is that why he wasn't using it or He might be. Or maybe he did use and didn't kill, I'm not sure. Well, <laughs> I like how he uh, revived and then he went back to the start anyway. Oh, dang, they got a scarf. We, we've been disqualified from that. Uh, oh, no. I can't, well. It's, it's been, a, it's been a pleasure working with you, sir. It's all right. Well, I okay, hope you enjoy this uh, race with no commentary whatsoever, guys. So. <laughs> See you later. A... Uh, have a great day. Deuces. So just a just a quick note on that uh, exploding Kingler. Think about that. That's self destruct from in, coming from a base one thirty attack. That's pretty terrifying. Uh, yeah. That's uh, there's not much that's standing up to that. Oh, did he delete you, Good Rain? For Seth? Is that what happened? He may have actually. That's not a, not a bad call. I mean, those kind of. I don't He's know, I don't really seconds. know how much utility Extreme Speed has when you compare it with the type coverage the other moves offer. I don't know. Yeah, like, he pulled it over Giga Drain. I mean, it's not, I, it's not a terrible play. I think the only thing it leaves him stuck on would be something like a Quagsire. Yeah, I guess like high defense waters. There's not too many of those. Yeah. There's Kingler... Quagsire. Um, what else? What else? What other water types have good defense? This is really much more a cloister, I guess. Cloister, but then we, have yeah. flame, we have flamethrower for cloister, so not even that. Yeah, that's a Clefable with Mega Horn. That's actually kind of scary. That is gonna kill. He's gonna have to burn another revive in here. Hmm. Well, he bought a fair few, so. And if this and if this Metapod survives. You know, you only, you only have the one left. On Oof. Nope. Maybe, maybe if it was a Kakuna, it would have survived that. Being resistant to it and all. Kroya has found his last, uh, his last normal type. Yep. That is six. He probably, he might not realize it, but definitely a sixth one. There it goes. Okay. He knows. Quick shout out to the chat. We love you, chat. You guys are fantastic. Oh, thanks, guys. He's run right out of moves. Oh, no. Oh, He's no. He's got a struggle. Oh, my gosh. Uh, the struggle bus oh. is leaving the station. Oh my goodness! Okay, he looks like he's it looks like he's gonna be able to beat the Swapple Fett though. Let's go ahead and um pay our tribute to Saint Ruglin, the patron saint of the struggle. Yeah, oh, you, you, you kind of lost me a bit there, but oh, the freeze too. Oh, freeze. we're seeing some trolling on both sides here. He's he's still got this Togepi. Okay, he can beat his Togepi, I reckon. You don't... So, Gar, if you're not familiar with St. Ruglin, though? No? You know, S.T. Ruglin? Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, look, man, TGE's not here. Somebody's... Oh, my God. All right. Dude, where, where's, anyway. where's that phone call from my sister, dude? Get me out of here. <laughs> but <laughs> Bri-Kai is gonna get past Morty. 
struggles his way right. past Morty. This, Fantastic. This hidden power is super effective against Hypno. So, <laughs> we know dark. It. Yeah, we know it's ghost or dark. Or bug. Or, yeah. yeah, ghost bug or ghost dark. dark bug. Okay, Test narrow it, on it down. The <laughs> yeah, that'll narrow <laughs> down a bit more. Gonna write struggle with like four exclamation marks in my notes for Bra Guy. <laughs> Sweet sense. Sweet sense. <laughs> not letting it though. Not on his main. Yeah, no. So that is that's fantastic. Like just just so you guys know. It's, oh, he's on Meows too. Okay. Well, there we go then. I guess. Oh, dang. Okay. So it's it's bugger it's bugger dark, but just. Just so we can clarify here, there's good PP management, and then there's Bry Guy struggling against Morty. <laughs> yeah. So, a little bit of good idea, bad idea. All right, let's see what these uh, the beasts are here. Oh, no, no, no! Yeah, you got to actually, yeah, actually interact with them. So that was... Ho-Ho, Mercro, Golem, I think? So Ho-Ho is on the card. If they run into the what that as the Roamer... Oh my gosh. They don't, they don't have info on it yet. <laughs> I almost I almost blurted it out mid-cries, like, is that a... Yeah, that first one was a Ho-Ho, I'm pretty certain. Oh no, man. Oh, I hope that's not the only place they find that. It would be funny to see, like... No other information show up, and they're desperately looking for a roamer. <laughs> now, Suicune, no, coughing's, coughing sounds, you know, a little a bit like Golem. But, no, it wasn't quite, it, it wasn't, it wasn't coughing, though. Like, Golem was the one I was least sure, and I was like, is there another one that sounds a bit like that? But, I think it was Golem. Yeah, it sounded exactly like that, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro, yeah. <laughs> Three cheers for fact checking. Alright, Bry Guy's gonna head down to Siamwood City. What did we say the what did we say the other the other one was? Not uh, right. Murkrow, that's right. <laughs> he's saving here? Huh. Oh, he's... I was gonna fight you seen, I guess, and doesn't want to die. He may not, um... He may not have been aware of where the trigger for the Usine fight was. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame him for saving a little early then. This is a good play, fighting Usine before heading down to the Chuck's gym. Carry that little bit of extra experience into the gym. Yeah, it makes sense for his Mew, I think, because you're generally a bit higher level than, than this with, with other stuff, with, uh... That don't have this slow experience curve. So Kroya managed to avoid the exploding, uh, the exploding crab, though. <laughs> well, I mean, he's a steel type, so wouldn't really have bothered him all that much. I don't think he's taught surf. He's it seems like he prefers the raw power of hydro pump over the consistency and PP of surf. Or maybe he's just waiting until he runs out of PP on hydro pump. I could see that as well, just like a bit of PP management. But I think you would want to teach Surf to the to, to the Magneton. Ooh. Submission to Antar and he's confused now. Ooh, and he oh, hit no. himself. Oh we missed. <laughs> okay, okay, the miss, the miss, alright. No, he got hit again, add to the second miss. We did it! We we made it, alright, we're good. <laughs> Good. So, Bry Guy did oh, pick up the shot. Oh, jeez. It is? <laughs> Come on, show us what it is, dude. It's a hound All right. It's not, oh. a lot of, not a lot of use. That's anticlimactic. Are we going to see the surf? No, we're not going to see the surf. 
It's not gonna teach Seraph, that's... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Seraph is the best water move in the game. Don't have to worry about those nas nasty misses from the than you do with Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump's got 80% accuracy. Alright, there we go, it's no, we still don't know if it's burnt or dark. Yeah, yeah, we still don't know if it's not burnt or dark. That doesn't help us to use it against something else. I was about to do the same thing and I caught myself, and I'm glad I wasn't <laughs> the only one. Oh no. It needs to test it on a, a grass, like a grass, a poison, or a uh, a ghost type. Yeah, okay, we've seen these against the Togepi. Or against, against normal types, rather. Dude, we, we get it! It's, it's not ghost type. That doesn't help us either. <laughs> Man, <laughs> against the steel type, it doesn't help either. That was funny. <laughs> Dude, these kids do you on a psychic type, but it's just like this is not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> How are we supposed to know? Oh man. Frog guy fighting the champ in Chuck's gym. Fighting types. Whoa. What kind of rando? It's like Bruno came to visit. Yet yeah, we we've we've established it's darker bug, we but every time he uses it on something, it's against something that we're not getting in. <laughs> yeah. Like, we need a grass... I think a grass, a poison, or a ghost type would be the three best things we could see. Or like a fire type, that would work too. A fire type would work as well, you're right. Flying type. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm... <laughs> so there's loads of types that could help. Yeah. All right, here's your. Uh, no, okay. We'll we'll wait for him to get find a trainer to test it with, because I was almost like, "Come on, test it now." <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna bully him into testing it. It's like, do it now, now, now. Fight this guy. Do it now. <laughs> Rye guy. Uh. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! What happened there? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Brog. Hi, welcome, welcome back. Yeah, the bingos can be in any order. You can do them. You can do the rows. You can do columns, and you can do the diagonals. So, twelve possible lines to go for. So, Brog guy is past Chuck. Yep. Now we'll see what his next move is. Rock throw, just like what Chuck did. The runners can see the bingo, the, the bit that's a shared bingo card, so the runners can see... That, that, that's, that's the only way the runners can tell how the other racer is doing, by looking at the bingo card and seeing what they've marked off. Because you don't need to do all the rows, like, you can do, like, a combination of rows, columns, or diagonals. So, like, so say, for example, if you did the top two rows, and there's the left two columns, and then the, um, bottom left, top right diagonal, that's, like, how many, how many goals is that? Like, um, uh, 17? Yeah, I think 17 is the minimum. Braggai has reached the Suicune on Route 42. Um, actually, he's getting there now on your screen. This uh, bingo card gives us a little bit of a spoiler, but I think well, we'll we knew, we yeah we we knew who was gonna do this when he was going on this route anyway. 
And he'll be buying the Slowpoke Tail, assuming he remembers about that before... That's... that's gonna be the thing, does he... Bike Shop Call! Give him an extra moment to think about that Slowpoke Tail. That rich, delicious Slowpoke Tail. He is yep, gonna remember to buy it. He's going over there. Doesn't quite have enough money, so he'll have to sell something. Just sell some TMs. Not Sweet Scent. There we go, that's good enough. Alright, now he has the Slowpoke Tail. So now, uh, Crow, you should know, um, you know, how, uh, where, where Bry Guy is in relation to him. Is he looking for anything particular here? I think, I don't think he's checked the decks yet, so I think he's just looking for things in general. But, uh, I don't think this is a good idea. He, he has, like, you know, if he wants to look for things, he has things in his decks that you can look for, like that Polyrath, for example. So Bry Guy, uh, just flying to Lake of Rage from there, just because I guess he's not confident dodging the trainers on his way here. Yeah, I'm really curious to know what, uh, speaking of Quags... <laughs> Shiny Quagsire. Sorry, what I'm really looking for here... So he's gonna catch this, this'll be the second, well, no, this'll be actually the first of his level 30 plus Pokemon, because his Mew's not actually there yeah. yet. So Brown Guy has his items from Lance. He is now very firmly into cleanup. Okay, he's looking for he's looking at his the Pokemon in his decks. So I guess maybe that Poliwell. Maybe the maybe the Machop. Oh the Ledian, yeah. Ledian okay, is in a Ledian's in horrible spots, goodness me. But Mount Morph is the only one you can get to. And uh, you can't even get all the spots there. Polly in National Park. Okay, that's good. That's really that's actually really easy. I don't think he has anything else he has to look for, does he? He could look for Machop, I guess, if he wants the if he wants info on the uh the yeah, he's gonna look at the yep. Machop there. Info on the Macho. That's in a good spot too. Yeah, so I don't know so... what the heck that read is. Thirty seven? Is that what that is? Uh, yeah, 37. Okay. It's the only... And that's... And the... Well... <laughs> welcome back to Lake of Rage. <laughs> I've done that more times than I care to admit. Um, okay, looks like he's yeah. going to pick up the experience share from Mr. Pokemon. Give him, give him that red scale. So, the only and thing that, that he wasn't in a good spot was the uh, Lilletian. Yeah. Um, presumably he'll be aiming to evolve his Metapod, and you know, also stop it from evolving four times. So, what's he gonna do though? What's he doing here? Is he gonna check the game corner poke? No, he's gonna. Mm. He's probably gonna go oh, get TM twenty one twenty seven. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's let's figure out a path here, because we are at that point where I think we can safely guess a path. Right, um, alright, let's see if we can work that one out then, so... Row 2 is free. Yes. Uh, BLTR, he has info for. You can do row 4 as well. We can do row 4. Um, so 2, 4, BLTR, uh, column... Column three. Yes. And then column column two, he T of the grinder info? Or was that no, Curry that got that? No, because Curry got it from the from the spinner on route thirty five. So I think we're we're a little light on information here. Um, okay. He's got Yeah, because he doesn't he's got have info the... for four. Well unless he runs into the roamer, the roaming hoa. That would help him. 
But uh, he, yeah, hopefully, he, he'll probably get more info from just going through Claire's gym. Yeah. If he, if that's, if that's what he wants. I mean, it's never something you want to do. Go through Claire's gym, but especially, especially since his Mew is just, you know, it's it's only level twenty nine right now. Yeah, it's, it's gonna make not really. I, yeah, it's not ideal for wanting to take on Claire's gym. Claire's gym is scary for something of this level. Yeah, he honestly would be better off going back, going back to a uh, mahogany and fighting Price. Like, get some of the experience out of Price's gym before you head into uh, Blackthorn. Dad, did we figure out that Hidden Power is dark when, when we were talking about Bright Guy? Okay. Dang it, I missed it. I missed the big reveal. No. Darn us for trying to map out his path. Yeah, what the heck, dude? Oh, amateur hour in this stream. This crow is oh, gonna, just gonna check some random slots in Ice Path. Why Curry's is he your bell then if he wants to do that? Yeah, put it on the Kenya, I guess. Yeah. I guess he could evolve, like... He could evolve, um, Kenya and Weedle and Metapot and, and Kakuna, and that would be already three of his, uh, Pokémon to evolve. I do believe he did pick up a Moonstone for the, the Jigglypuff. Alright. I, I believe I don't remember. Yeah, he's got it all in his party at the moment, like, just ready to go. Looks like he's just hoping he comes across some of the info he doesn't have yet. But yeah, I'm not sure why I repelled him, if that's the case, but we'll see. We'll see what's here. Oh, this will give him, yeah, it looks like he, yeah, I don't, I don't blame him for killing stuff. Yeah, he's getting free, free little bits of experience for getting these levels. Yeah, so that's once he hasn't he stopped Metaprob from evolving. This horse, he has an earthquake, and he's confused, but he hit through. Alright. This will be the second stop, uh, stopped evolution for the Kenya. Mm hmm. Meanwhile, Croya has picked up Fly. Now, Croya's got the Grimer in for me. Yeah, but he actually can finish. Because he can do Column 2. That's, I think, his only well, other doesn't... info he has. Over. Well, he doesn't have the he doesn't have the bay leaf pull out. Oh yeah, yeah, off. yeah. Never mind then. So I think that leaves him in the same situation. He's got full information <laughs> for four. Oh boy. Fry guy is gonna be able to wrap up the stop the same Pokemon on this uh, Sudo Wodo here. Good stuff. Now he just has to evolve it, and that'll be his butter free. Could probably do it on this hit on top right here. Okay, well, not sure why he ran from that one, but there you go. I guess he'll do it on a trainer, perhaps. 
<laughs> Look, there's the Grimer. Well, what a coincidence. Crow is going to need to go back and get some, uh, some Pokeballs. He's, uh, he's running a little light right now. I mean, Crow is behind in terms of goals, but... He, you know, he can, he can, but, but if he gets, if he gets more info than Braggy does, you know, having a path to finish is very valuable. So looking, actually thinking about it, I, um, I was a little mistaken actually. Braggy does have a path to finish because I discounted, um, I, I discounted the fact that he does have a Machop, uh, Machop information if he needs to evolve into a Machoke. Okay. So that would give him that would give him row one as well. So row one, row four, row two, BLTR and column two, or column three actually. He's also that's found a spin rack right here, so he's gonna see if he can catch it for the Ariadosal Ledian, which um, what would that what would that mean for him? It would mean that. He doesn't have to do Rising Badge, I guess. Um... No, I think he still would need Rising Badge. Because the... Oh, Ariados, he... The, right. the Ariados would only give him Column 4 since we don't have... Oh yeah, because Rising Badge is on Diagonal too. Yeah, never mind. Okay. Yeah. Dang it, just... <laughs> you want to skip that Rising Badge if you can, right. but it looks like right, it's we're trying to... possible for him. We're doing everything we can to route him away from... <laughs> Not working yet. Well, it looks like he's just uh, doing the goals he knows he can do at the moment, getting that charcoal from this guy in Azalea. Neither oh, Crayo, one has picked yeah. up the item finder yet. Probably not going the right way there. That's not how you... That's not how you dodge the trainers on this route. He might be going through the guardhouse, but he doesn't need to do that. Yeah, the level 40 on Claire is the other is the other goal that could be useful. Um, but the thing is, if you can skip Claire, you could realistically you could skip defeat level 40. Because right now, if you if we're looking at if we're looking at Bry Guy's route, unless he finds the Ho -Oh, or a Cubone, then defeat a level 40 Pokemon is actually useless. Now you can dodge this Pokemaniac if you go all the way to the left. Cray just might not be aware of that. Uh, not sure what is Bry Guy looking for on this route. Um, of the things he checked, no, I didn't think any of them were here. Unless he checked something else and I didn't see it. Yeah, man. Because the Ledian was... I don't think the Ledian was here. No, Ledian was, Ledian Ledian was, was King in Mount Tower and Mount Mortar. Yeah, Polywell was National Park was the best spot, and Matt Jop was Route 37. Yeah. So, I'm not sure what he's looking for on this route, but... Eh, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. I guess we'll know when he knows. <laughs> And Crow, you did go back and pick up Pokeballs, so that's good. He does have something to catch this Quagsire. And that does give him two level 30 Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Crow, you kind of... Go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to say, in the daytime, you can, uh, you can get the third level 30 by going to Route 45, south of Blackthorn, and uh, just setting your level 30 in front and... Not, and using a repel and then just biking around and then the level 30 should show up because repels don't work on things that are at your level or higher but they're but it, for some reason it only works during the day so they can't really do that strat the, the thing to do for this strat to get the other level 30 would be either <laughs> hope you luck into a roamer or um, just get the Suicune from Tin Tower which requires fighting Three pretty tough sa sages. I tell you, finding the roamer would be uh, 
will be a great boon for either one of these two, especially if they <laughs> find the ho -Oh. Yeah, goodness me. Imagine that. Gahoon is in such a nice spot too, just on that corner. Like that, that diagonal will be f so free with ho -Oh. But he's going to... He's going to brave Claire's gym here. Oh boy. I don't envy him, that's for sure. No, this is... This sort of thing... Was... You... Walking to this, it dies to its turn. One, I think that was. But um, yeah, yeah I can, I can, I, I can. A lot of your words kind of got eaten up there, Mizzle. Brain. Okay, that's right. Um. Oh, what I was saying was, this is the sort of situation where I would actually, um, it'd be one of those moments to go back and maybe pick up some X items. You're going to need a lot of help with this Mew to get through uh, Claire's gym. Yeah, that's right. I always forget about Exciton because it just doesn't often come up as, uh, you know, unless you're like trying to take on something like Rival 4 or all this place. So, yeah, that could be helpful, though. I think Bry Guy is going to want to reconsider this strategy. At the very least, if you're going to do if you're going to do Claire's gym, you're going to want to come back with either X items or a little extra experience, you're going to want to be a slightly higher level. <laughs> something something like a Mute 2, you might be in a slightly better shape with. Um, not to say Mew is not a good choice for this, but at this low level, it's going to be a rough go. Oh, you have extreme speed. <laughs> Yeah, you oh. can just finish this off with extreme speed. Oh, my feels. Oh no, he taught, he taught strength oh. over it, never mind. Oh, never mind, I lied. Okay, so he can evolve his Metapod now. He's in, he, he basically, but he, he needs all the experience he can get on this Mew at this point, really. He wants to beat Claire with it. Unless Claire just has garbage. Meanwhile, yeah, Crow is heading through here too, and his Magneton's a bit higher level, so he might be in better shape to take Claire on and the rest of the gym. Yeah, so you don't need to go this way. You don't need HMO7 this time. Oh. Oh, that's wrong. And then the level 40 was Jolteon. Oh. That's, uh, that, that's, that's what I said earlier. <laughs> well, there's a Quilava on that trainer. So if Croya does go right for uh, Claire's gym, he's gonna get the uh, the Quilava information. Yep. Oh no! Croya miss oh, misplaced no. the boulder. Okay. Well, he can just he can he can just reset it if he takes the stairs again, which is what he's gonna do. Okay, <laughs> he's like he's terrified enough of this. He's going. To try something else. Where is he going? Looking at the... okay. Is he going to go uh, just go and get TMO five, or where are you going? Where are you going, Bry guy? He's going to buy X items from oh. here. Okay. Yep. But he doesn't. This place doesn't doesn't sell X specials though. He doesn't realize he doesn't. Sorry. Yeah. Crow. Crow. You doesn't realize he doesn't have to do the entire puzzle. Ah, uh, yeah, you just have to push the the one puzzle up there and then go down the hole. You don't need to push that boulder to go down there. But, you know, he, he didn't do the whole puzzle, so... Just, uh, just didn't realize he didn't have to push that boulder. Hey, look, it's Entei. <laughs> Entei has decided to move in. I was going to say, go in, move in from the cold, but he went into ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
don't think that's quite how that works there, Chief. Okay, yeah, he's gonna give the experience share to... Oh. to Weedle, so he can evolve that a couple of times. Then he'll that's... be at three Pokémon to evolve. He needs all that experience, though, on that meal. Yeah, ah. He, yeah, he, he, he might just have to get lucky and see it with uh, easy Pokemon, like the Stodio here. I say that, and then, you know, <laughs> it'll just bust out the flipping, I don't know, crit hyper beam or something. Shows up like crit mega horn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Geodude trying to learn Bone Club. Jesus, Geodude was the answer all along. No, I mean, no, maybe not, but still. <laughs> Learning some... Yeah, but we can dream. Moves. Speaking of pretty sweet moves, we got High Jump Kick from the Seedra. Oh, oh he's, he's out. He's out. Teach Surf! Teach Surf! <laughs> So Kroya does now have the Quilava information, so... Let's see... Let's see what they can make happen here. I'm, I'm amazed Kroya hasn't taught... Has not taught Surf. He's... Riding... Riding Hydro Pump, it's... Ride or die with it, at this point. Yep. I thought he might teach it just, just because he ran out of PP for Hydro Pump, but decided to just head back to the center instead. A Lolan Magneton? What would a Lolan Magneton look like? Can't really imagine what a regional variant of Magneton would look like. Yeah, I don't... Like, how could you make it any other type but Steel Electric? Yeah, that's... Huh. We need to get top men on that. Just get, just get the top men on it. That's all. They'll figure it out. I believe in them. Steel Dragon! <laughs> Magneton. Uh... That is an exploding Kangaskhan. Wow! Oh! Scary stuff, that. Oh well, Kakuna's getting those levels, there you go. Oh my gosh. Easy B drill. So that's three evolutions for him. Yep. You can just so near the other one, well, he's going back. Does he have any more revives? I don't know, but either way, he's going back to the center just now. So we went from... We went from a base 130 attack, uh... Self-destructing Kingler, to a 95 attack, stab-exploding Kangaskhan. <laughs> Pretty terrifying. It's, it's escalating around here. <laughs> We're gonna see the explosion Snorlax next. Oh no. With all of the power of an atomic bomb. <laughs> yeah, Crow, you're making much quicker work of this than Bright Guy was. And Magneton's, those Ma Magneton's extra levels paying off here. Oh god. I can't even say that. I can't even say that for fear of it happening. <laughs> Bry guy gonna go ahead and start the Claire fight. Okay. What's 
I don't know if I would say that just yet. Far farming Jolteon 12 times paid off? I don't know if I'd commit to that comment yet. <laughs> Say it. I'm not, oh, he's going to evolve the spin rack to Ariados for his fourth evolution. Okay, makes sense. Well, that sweet experience we're missing out on, though. Luckily, well, if you can beat Claire, it won't really matter. That is a hundred percent true. <laughs> he's like, he's, he's he's just at that point where he actually has to heal. Like he he ha he, j he barely gets three hit by Nightshade. The X attacks don't really help with Flamethrower. It just, uh, helps with strength, and that's it. You mm. gotta get the X special from the department store. That is actually. Really interesting that this could happen this way. That that Bry guy could mar end up marking four goals at once here. <laughs> Wait, really? So he gets Aridus Ledian. Oh Evolve yeah, rising four. Bench. Evolve four. <laughs> and defeat a forty. <laughs> That's pretty great. I. Yeah, if Spin Rat gets to level twenty-two, then you can do that. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna get there though. I think it's I don't think it's gonna be quite enough unless the forty is a blissy. But they are both on the Claire fight, so Oh, that's Bone Meringue Typhlosion. Oh, oh. Wow. I didn't even think about that because Wow. Dude, it's Bone Rang Pin Missile. It's got a multi hit move for both of them. Bone Meringue Typhlosion. Well, if you get some X items, you can set up on the pincer and be okay. Okay, well, X attacks will help a bit against this Mistress here. You can hit it with a powered up Ancient Power. Oh, nice Chris Chris and that Hypno. The Hypno. It's not gonna get to 22, though. So ah, too bad. The... He's not Dang. gonna get the four-piece. Only two goals. So he does... He's... If he checks his decks, I'm sure he has the first bingo. Uh, cause he would have 90 scene at this point. Not quite sure how to get out of uh, Claire's gym there, it looked like. Oh, he already has a first bingo with BLTR, I, I misspoke. Yep. But he would have, he would have two. There it is. Probably getting ready to start the Claire fight once again. Yeah, he's at 100 scene. Is he looking for anything in particular? I think at this point it's dumb. it would be in his best interest to double check the Poliwhirl, yep. And the Machop. Well, I mean, the Poliwhirl's in a good spot, there's no real reason to look for the Poliwag. I'm, I'm concerned that he might think that that's bug catching contact. Ooh, yeah. I hope he doesn't think that. Because bug catching contest doesn't show up in the decks. You might be right though, because why else would you look up Poliwag info? Poliwag's in a decent spot there. He's, so he's gonna fight uh, some stuff in Price's Gem, most likely just to get that uh, that spinner act to evolve. But like, if he catches the Poliwag and Water Stones that, he doesn't need to do that. Well, he, he does to get the, the, the Aridos, I guess. Hello, Mewtwo. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. You two with faint attack. It stung a little bit.
So I wonder what... I wonder what Bra Guy thinks his path is right now. I wonder if he's getting the, the spinner act to evolve to avoid getting the polyworld. So I'm I'm thinking at this point he may actually think it's he may actually think that's bug catching contest. Uh yeah, that would be that'd be a real shame if if he skipped out in that goal because of that. Mm. Meanwhile, Croya is once again hard walled by a ground type move. Yeah, like if he bought X items, he could he could clear this no problem. He would just like set up some X speeds and then knock it out with high surf or hydro pump or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't seen Clearburn or Diglett anywhere. We've seen a Marowak breathe strats but no he won't be thinking, he won't be thinking of breathe strats I'm sure he's heading for oh I hope he's not heading for is he going for Whirl Islands is that what oh, is that what he's doing I think he is I think this is what he's doing um, Bry guy no don't Meme don't Island do it you have time. you have so much to live for Bry guy Island time Oh no, I gotta actually gotta write this down now. Polywell in National Meme Park. Island. Park. National Park, bro. <laughs> That's what this is. Oh no. It has to be. Yeah, this is he's he fought Price so he could go to World Islands. <laughs> That's what he's doing. He, oh, he got no. the experience to evolve the spinner act and he's got whirlpool access. Ah. Uh. Imagine if it's his first encounter, though. Just immediately. Okay, if it's his world. first encounter. If it's his first encounter, and he's at least an affiliate, I'm subscribing to him. <laughs> I will throw him. No, I'll throw him a $10 sub if it's the first encounter. Oh, jeez. Like. Alright, but after the first encounter, and there are, I believe, 65 slots in Whale <laughs> Islands. That's only a 1 in 65 chance. <laughs> Okay, he's here. We go. What's the first encounter in Whale Islands? Okay, it's, it's a Jolteon. Hey, Jolteon. <laughs> All right, now we can beat Crow you with it. Okay, I'm off the hook now. All right, so thank you, Jolteon, for letting me off. You you tried to validate me against Crow you with the earthquake, and now you validated me with Bry Guy. Thank you, Jolteon is the real MVP today. Jolteon's worth at least a follow. Most likely. Most likely. <laughs> Speaking of, I don't think we've we've seen this pop up yet. Make sure you guys follow the runners. They're putting on a... We found a ho ho! Oh, that is so good. Oh my goodness. We found a ho ho! Dude, this, this man Islands. knew. What a play, dude. That ho ho. Two bingos right there. So once that's... he gets the item finder. Has he, like, done then or what? He can't be that far away now. So he has, uh, so he has, col he has row two. He's got column five now, and he's got That's... diagonal. That would do it, actually. Yeah, that does it, doesn't it? I well, didn't he's find nice it. and he wins. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, call five, rows two and four, and the two diagonals. What a find! Goodness me, that's incredible. So yeah, that's literally it then. He, yeah, that's wow. That's insane. That's, <laughs> that does it. Congra so congratulations to <laughs> yeah, Bry Guy job, <laughs> on finding the ho -ow. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, well, I was, I was... Oh goodness, I wasn't expecting this to be done just like that, but that's just what a, like, a find like ho can do can do for you. See if I can get these guys in here for an interview real quick. All right, we're gonna try to get Bra Guy and Croya in here for an interview. Go over a few things with them, ask them some questions, and get their opinions on this race. 
Wow. Yeah, if we can, um... We're gonna want to stop capturing Kroya's audio at that point. Once, uh... Once one of them jumps into general, I'll go ahead. We, I can go ahead and pull them in here, and we can get a uh, get this conversation started. But yeah, geez, <laughs> what a finish that was! I was just fully expecting to be settling in here for like twenty more minutes. Oh yeah, exactly. That's insane. Finding that ho -o, Finding the hell oh, man. <laughs> I think we're I think we're he hearing Crow, yeah, with the stream kind of a bit open here. Yeah, here we go. Let me pull these guys in here. All right, bra guy, Crow, yeah, fantastic race, you guys. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, yeah, that I was. What a finish, though. Goodness gracious. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, just wait here, I'm going to settle in for a bit more, maybe get another drink or something, and then you then you just, like, luck into the ho -o that just, yeah. you know, just, just, just ends the card for you. Just... Yeah, that was crazy. I, I figured there were just so many Pokemon goals that I needed, and I uh, just needed a little more information on something, so that was the thought behind the World Islands play. Yeah, we were thinking you might not reali have realized that the Poliwhirl was like National Park and not Bug Catching Contest or something. Oh, is it National Park? Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. National Park. So you don't. Yeah, that's so. So so. Yeah, we we thought that might be why you weren't going for that goal, but yeah. it worked out for you. So it did. I okay, knowing knowing that, I might have gone Polyrath, and uh, I so I wasn't sure about Golbat, Cough, and Grimer, but. Uh, Kruya marked it right after Charcoal, so I was figuring it was in that route, but I checked four slots there. I don't know, I might have gone a bit more aggressive on that play, had I realized that Polyworld was in the table. one hour after Ecritik. Ah, uh, okay, so I was, <laughs> that was, that would have been a, a wrong move. Yeah, I mean, yeah, not really, yeah, because at that point you had Fly, it was pretty difficult to really right. track that kind of thing. Yeah. So, um, Fly guy. <laughs> Fry guy, real quick, I have to ask you. So, mm -hmm. Garf already hit the two big things I wanted to ask you about, which was the Hoa and the National Park. I have to ask you, struggling, the struggle. <laughs> oh, I, 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 believe that was, I believe that was Morty. I yeah, that was on Morty. <laughs> yeah. So I was you, considering... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, you've taught everybody that was watching today how you believe in PP management. Go ahead and take us through that. I'm sorry, one more time or you cut out a sec there? Alright, my apologies. I said you taught all of us that were watching today a valuable lesson in PP management. If right. you could take us through that. <laughs> yeah, so I probably should have gone to the center after arrival, but I thought I could make it through the gym. I guess I just underestimated the power of the Mew and like, its ability to, to one-shot things and ate up a bit more PP than I expected. Mm -hmm. Um, but I thought I might be able to take Morty with enough, or I, I think I had four left in Flamethrower and Surf each, um, and I was considering leaving the gym to go heal, but I thought that would be a bit slower. But yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, um, I mean, at least, you, at least you made it, though. Goodness me. Yeah, it, it worked <laughs> out. <laughs> so, uh, Kroya, I want to ask you, um, take us through in the most the most family-friendly way you can. Take us through your mindset with Bugsy's Jolteon. <laughs> uh, I made a mistake or something. I, I have no idea. It's just... I, I picked a bad starter, I guess. So and it, it wouldn't even work out for the Rising Badge. Because that also just was like, oh, okay, well, this is the nail in the coffin. <laughs> Yeah, that's the that's the oh. danger with running something like that. Just something fast with earthquake is just a bit scary. I mean, you, it did learn moves though. To be fair, like it, the it, starting move set, I was thinking, wow. Well, I mean, I don't think this is the right play. I, and then then it learned outrage and hydro bombs. Like, well, okay, maybe you can make this work. Um, it, it it learned confusion ray at some point. I I think I should have kept that one. 
Well, I mean, you what 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 you should have done was withdrawn some of your Pokemon from the PC, like just hit hit that hit that Jolteon once with Hydro Pump or something, then switch right, yeah. out, and then sacrifice one of your Pokemon, sent your right, sent, yeah. sent like a third Pokemon out, and then healed up, and then you would have probably would have been all right. Right. Yeah. Or, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Or or like even uh, even somebody said you could have taught extreme speed and hit hit it once. Yeah, I I, I just realized that. later on that I had extreme speed, so I was like. Oh, oops! I had that option with the, with the TM. Oh well. Yeah, and then like maybe for Claire, you if you you could have bought some some X items in gold. Yeah, and, or, and gold. Or, and yeah. Then, like, set up, set up that would have taken some extreme setting up because I yeah, even... <laughs> yeah. I mean, you'd have had to like set up some speed, some special attacks, <laughs> and then you would have had to hope to hit with hydro pump, which is like. And then I don't even know the other two Pokemon, <laughs> so. So like uh, you 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 ended up not teaching surf. Did you just value the power of hydro pump more I, over I was, at that point? I was hoping, yeah, I was kind of gambling on the fact that it would kill rather than consistency over uh, of the hit percentage. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, it just happened to miss way more often than I'd hoped. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's only eighty percent. It's like with something with only five PP, it's a little sketchy to do that. But uh, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I guess with things like Sprising Badge on the card, where you where you do need a bit of power, I can I can see why you did what you did. Yeah, and I also realized that Judo really evolves late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It is twenty five. Um, yeah, I was, I was getting close. You weren't you weren't too far off by the end I was, of the class gym. I was considering the Machop play, but then as I was searching for it, so I don't know if you guys noticed, I went to Ecrutic at one point and started looking for the Machop. But uh, I, as I was looking for it, I looked at the level that it evolved at and saw 28, and then just <laughs> left. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not ideal, certainly. But, no. there were, but I was yeah, I was quite surprised that there was like such little info on that, though. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I wanted to um. I wanted to ask you, Crowley, real quick. Um, so, first of all, we we had a, a running thing going about the uh, the Kingdra that you you kept running away from earlier, and that you didn't you didn't think that you didn't take the time to take a look at it. Which, in the long run, the we we did find out from uh, somebody in chat that the Kingdra's move set was uh, just north of garbage. So, good play on that. <laughs> Um, I do. I'm. I'm now actually obligated to tweet out its move set 17 times. Um, it is something I made a made a promise to do. But so I want to was, ask you. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. I want. Uh, no, you had a question about. Oh well, what was Bri uh, Bri guy running? Uh, I ran a Mew, and it had a flamethrower ancient power when I caught it, which was pretty crazy. I mean, yeah, what, what did you Giga get? Drain too, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, Mega Giga Drain as well. Yeah, it was. It was yeah, really I just strong. I just kept the Magneton. Uh, <laughs> did, yeah, did, when did it learn Earthquake? No, it didn't learn Earthquake. Jolteon was using Earthquake oh, against it. Oh, gotcha, it, gotcha. It, it learned it learned Hydro Pump and Outrage fairly early on, and then like yeah. nothing else. But I I think I just had pretty bad gat. Oh, like I say that. Uh, ranges, damage ranges on, on the Jolteon as well. It just kept getting to nearly getting killed, even after like uh, a level up. So to explain the uh, the tweet thing, uh, it's 17 I'm, because I'm guessing on how many times... It was a combination of how many times I second-guessed you not, finding, not going to find the Kingdra, and then as well as each time you died to the Jolteon. Um, <laughs> it was... He, you were walled there for quite a while, um, right? But I want to ask you, um, just a little thing that we noticed. Um, you were sweet scenting in the water in Cyanwood before you got there. What were you I, looking for? I, I thought I saw a choke, but I and I ran from. It. Well, it wasn't a champ, and I just. Oh, oh okay. okay, right. And I also did it in the wrong position too. I believe I already just went to the next area. Fair enough. We were we were a little confused. We're like, what is he? What is he looking for? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe just random Pokemon at this point. I was I, when I saw like, uh, Brig, I was getting the encounter with Suicune and stuff. I was like, oh, I'm so behind because of that walling. Yeah, yeah we saw we, like headbutting trees and Ilex as well. Just like, oh, let's see if we say anything good here. And <laughs> I would have been pretty funny if actually something had 
good at I, I, I got a normal Pokemon out of that. <laughs> you did get you got you got the I think you got the Geodude from the headbutt from head. Oh the Geodude. Oh yeah, okay, never mind. That just ruined my routing, I guess. Uh, <laughs> well, if um I don't know, Garth, if you uh do you have any more questions? We're uh, I think we're getting the signal. Oh we're getting the signal? That's fine. Yeah, That's we fine. are getting the signal. Um so wanna just go ahead and give another quick shout out to both of our runners, Croya and Bry Guy. Uh, make sure you guys give them a follow. Uh, shout out to my yep, buddy that's... Garfield Lightning for uh, sticking around with me and joining me on comment. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I myself, but that's all right. My 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 sister didn't end up calling me, so I was here for the whole thing. <laughs> and uh, just give a shout out to our uh, our restreamer Norestra for uh, helping put this thing together and keeping us on track here. Fantastic job by everybody involved. I think today's been a today was a good uh, a good show here actually. Yeah. Fun race, guys. I, I, I certainly enjoyed watching. I hope you guys enjoyed racing. Indeed. Oh, Thank you so much for commentating. Really ah, no, no problem. And uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the and 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 remember, the the race not over for Crow yet either. It's still got so we've got uh, we still got a losers brackets to to go through as well. So you'll see both of these races again in the future. Uh, look out for that and and other races going on from Pokemon Crystal and other games in in. In in fact, we've got the and the random easy randomizer marathon. It looks like it. So does that say it starts today? Does it say that's that? Correct. That, am I reading that right? Correct, so. guys. Make sure you come back later on tonight, starting tonight, seven o'clock Eastern, right here on Random Mania. Hours away. And look at that. We have the random the Random Mania randomizer marathon. Uh, the schedule was posted in chat. Make sure you check that out. But I think that's going to do it for us. Uh, on behalf of uh, Bry Guy, Kroya, and Garfield the Lightning, my name is Mizzle Sticks. It's been fantastic bringing this race to you. And uh, we hope to see you guys again. All right. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye.